Hello everyone. Today's lecture topic is the Mizo people in Bangladesh. The Mizo people are the native people of northeastern India. They are the indigenous people in the Indian state of Mizoram. In my previous lectures, I have discussed the consequences of the partition of India. Some issues are still unresolved. For example, the Kashmir question. Similarly, the issue of Mizoram was left unresolved. So during the time of partition, the British wanted to retain Mizoram as a crown colony and that it would eventually become an independent state. However, it did not materialize and Mizoram or the Mizo people decided to join India. So Mizoram eventually came under the Indian territory. It is located in the Mizo Hills of Assam. So after the partition of India, the area of Mizoram came under the control of the Assam state of India. But soon the people of Mizoram, the Mizo, were frustrated. They faced discrimination from the Assamese government. When the people of Mizoram suffered from a famine in 1959. There was aloofness from the Assamese government, the Assam state government's aloofness and indifference had a big impact on the Mizo people. The Mizo people were different from the people of Assam in their ethnicity and they had also separate language but the Assamese government they introduced a law making Assamese language as a state language. That meant the Assamese language has to be endorsed and spoken by the Mizo people. But this was not acceptable by the Mizo people and so they objected to it and this led to the demand of for a separate administrative sector from Assam. Some advocated the creation of a new hill state within India, but other Mizos began to prepare for complete independence. In 1966, after a long period of planning, the Mizo National Front, a political party that had evolved from a voluntary famine relief association, took the decision to defy the Indian state and they launched operations against India. The military wing of the Mizo National Front was called the Mizo National Army. 
it occupied two main towns of Assam and declared the region independent from India. The name they chose for the envisioned independent country was Mizoram and this was taken completely by surprise by the Indian armed forces and the Indian military soon retaliated. They started massive bombing on the Mizoram's main towns and villages and attacked the Mizo people or in other words the Indian military attacked its own Indian citizens and soon the region of Mizoram was completely militarized under the Indian armed forces. So the militarization by the Indian armed forces in Mizoram had its consequences. In this image we can see the map of India and also the location of Mizoram as it's indicated by an arrow. So when India militarized Mizoram, what were the consequences? It took the form of guerrilla fighting between the Mizo people with the Indian military and the leaders of Mizoram crossed the borders and established their capital and military headquarters in the Sajek region, the Chittagong Hill Tracts in the then East Pakistan. In 1966, the Mizo political leaders declared its independence from India. So, literally, they conducted their military operations from the then East Pakistan, from the Chittagong Hill Tracts region, that was the border with India, and that's how the military action continued between the Mizo leaders and the Indian army for a long time. Now the question arises, how do I know about the Mizo people? The Mizo people of Mizoram region of India they settled for some time in the Chittagong Hill Tract region during the then East Pakistan. So when I was conducting my research in 2020 on the Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, I interviewed some of my extended family members who were Mukti Jodha or freedom fighters who fought against the Pakistani army during the liberation war of 1971. So my cousin Mr. Imran who was a freedom fighter in 1971 shared his experience as a freedom fighter during the Bangladesh Liberation War. 
So Mr. Imran, my cousin, spoke of a major confrontation with the Pakistani army and how the Mizo Hill Tract people sided with the Pakistani army. Mr. Imran recalled, We encountered a major confrontation on 16th December 1971 when the Pakistani army was fleeing Bangladesh towards Burma. They saw us about 132 freedom fighters taking shelter in a school in Chittagong. They surrounded the school. It was about four to five hours fight. The tribal Mizo people assisted the Pakistani army. We informed the Indian authorities immediately about 400 Tibetan trained militia in India came to our rescue. The Tibetan militia ran over the hilly terrain with arms and ammunition and killed the Pakistani soldiers and some surrendered. After the Pakistani army surrendered, the Chittagong Hill Track people informed us that Bangladesh became independent on 16th December 1971. So the merit of qualitative research, which is my research expertise, that is through the interviews, I get the data, I interpret it, analyze it in my publication. So the qualitative research let the data or the interview speak and the researchers like me we interpret the data we try to understand what information the data is revealing and accordingly we go for further research and we accordingly argue and interpret in our journal articles or book chapters or, or any scholarly publication. So when my cousin Mr. Imran told about the Mizo people, I had a difficult time in understanding the Mizo people. I thought maybe he's confusing with the Chittagong Hill Tracts people, which I am very, very familiar with. But when he spoke about the tribal Mizo people, then I did more research and found out about the Mizo people. So this picture is taken from Schendel's book, Chapter, A War Within a War. And this caption shows Mizoram Independence Day, 1st March, commemorated at the, the beginning of the Mizor Revolt in 1966. Here we see the president of Mizoram, Ladenga inspecting the National Guard of Honor in Mahmuam in the then East Pakistan on 1st March 1969. So why did the Pakistani government during that time supported the Mizo people? So that's a question that came to my mind. As discussed, the Mizo tribal people are from Mizoram, India. The state, the Mizoram state also shares a 722 kilometer border with the neighboring countries of Bangladesh and Myanmar. In 1971, 
the Mizo people were having land disputes with India and hence they supported the Pakistani army. But as I've discussed that since the partition of India in 1947, the Mizo people desired for an independent state. But eventually they became a part of India. Then they had their economic and political grievances against the state of Assam, which is a state in India. And they revolted against India and declared their independence in 1966. And they crossed the hills and the borders and settled in the Chittagong Hill Tracts in Chittagong in the then East Pakistan. So the Mizoram government established their capital and military headquarters in the Sajak region, the Chittagong Hill Tracts in the then East Pakistan. In 1969, most Mizo fighters launched attacks on Indian troops from the hill tracts in the then East Pakistan. Since there was a history of India-Pakistan geopolitical issue over Kashmir in its northwest border, the Pakistani government supported the Mizo rebels with fund, arms, and training to destabilize India. During the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War, the Mizorams, the Mizo people, proved helpful to the Pakistani army, who they believed would help them to fight the Bangladeshi freedom fighters as they could cope with the topography of Bangladesh. This is another image of the Mizo National Day celebration in the town hall of Rangamati Chittagong Hill Track, the then East Pakistan, on 21st October 1971. This picture is of the Mizo people with the Pakistani army. They were fighting together against the Mukti Jodha, the Bangladeshi freedom fighters. So the caption says, a Pakistani army man surrounded by Mizo fighters clad in various uniforms in Barkal, Chittagong, Hill Tracts, East Pakistan, photo taken on 29th September 1971. Because the Mizo people were very familiar with the climate and the topography of the Chittagong Hill Tracks and the then East Pakistan. So the Pakistani army found them very helpful to assist them in the war with the Bangladeshi freedom fighters and the Mizo people were good in guerrilla warfare and were very um, accustomed to the topography of the Bangladeshi landscape. So this image shows Mizo advisors and the Pakistani army men in Silet 1971. So as we can see that Pakistan supported Mizo people or as it was known as Mizo rebels in their settlement in East Pakistan and helped them with resources for their fight against the Indian army because the Pakistani government had its ulterior motive to destabilize India, to bring regional destability 
and to pursue their own politics and foreign policy. So when India declared war on Pakistan in December 1971 and eventually India won, Bangladesh got its independence and the Mizo people or the Mizo rebels as well they were called at the time, they fled to India because they had nowhere to stay. They collaborated with the uh, Pakistani army against the Bangladeshi people. So finally, uh, the Mizo people of Mizoram, their issues were settled with the Indian government during the rule of Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Issues between the Mizo people and the Indian government was resolved on 5th August 1986 a constitution amendment bill and another to confer statehood on Mizoram was passed in the Lok Sabha in India, the parliament in India on 20th February 1987 the formalization of Mizoram state took place. Thank you.